Hello and welcome to the Chanel. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has said the body are in the lookout for governors, businessmen and public officials who are all holding cash, both the illegal old notes and the scarce new ones with the sole intention to buy votes on Saturday. The EFCC chief made the disclosure on a channel's television program yesterday. He urged Nigerians to desist from the hearts and anyone caught on election day will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Let's hear from the EFCC boss himself. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Politicians stockpiling hold notes to buy votes, EFCC share. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, on Wednesday raised the alarm over alleged plans by politicians to buy votes in kind and cash ahead of Saturday's general elections. He made a claim during an interview on Channel's television's election program, the 2023 verdict. The EFCC chairman, who confirmed that all of its officers had been deployed to monitor the polls across 36 states and the federal capital territory, urged citizens to report vote buying, selling, and other evidence of financial malpractices. He said, We have intelligence that a lot of politicians have bought some high terms that they will use to buy votes in kind and not in cash, but we are prepared for any situation and will not hesitate to arrest anyone caught in the heart. We will watch out for all these things on election day. Bawa further revealed that public officials, corrupt businessmen, and some governors were allegedly holding hold on new Naira notes with the intent to buy votes during the presidential election scheduled to hold on Saturday. According to him, the agency is aware of the tactics used by vote buyers and officials are prepared to handle any situation that may arise. I don't want to say only governors are holding Naira notes. There are public servants out there doing the same thing, or some businessmen with questionable characters are still having these funds in their homes. So, I don't want to say governors are these, but I will say that public servants, either retired or serving, and some businessmen with questionable characters are on our radar. The biggest hurdle is if Nigerians don't buy into what we are doing, but I believe once we are united, we will be able to take inadequacies out of our system, he stated. Ahead of Saturday's general elections, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC has deployed its operatives to the 36 states of the Federation on the Federal Capital Territory to combat vote buying. Apart from the teams deployed across the country, the Anti-Graft Agency has also released incident reporting outlines for the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT. EFCC Head of Media and Publicity, Wilson Uwujaren, who disclosed this in a statement on Wednesday, said the move was part of efforts to ensure the integrity of the February 25, 2023 presidential and National Assembly elections. Uwu Jaren said Executive Chairman of the Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, charged the operatives to be conscious of the interest of the nation and to exhibit a high sense of professionalism in the discharge of their duties. You are hot on a national assignment and I expect you to conduct yourselves responsibly in line with our core values of professionalism, integrity and courage. You have a responsibility to ensure that this election is devoid of financial malpractices especially inducement of voters. The attention of the world is focused on Nigeria and we must do what is necessary to ensure that we have credible, fair and free elections. The Commission also urged members of the public to report any case of vote buying or selling or other evidence of financial malpractices designed to compromise the electoral outcome through these outlines. Members of the public can also report anyone trying to buy or sell votes by making use of the EFCC Financial Crimes Reporting app, Eagle Eye, which is available for download on the Google Play or Apple Store. Additionally, the public can reach the Commission through our social media handle at official EFCC or by email info at efcc.gov.com.
www.ng subscribe like share comment and please turn the notification bell on thank you meanwhile the economic and financial crimes commission efcc says it has arrested members of a syndicate of currency racketeers holding and trading in the redesigned naira notes in abuja EFCC spokesperson Wilson Owujarin said in a statement that the operations were carried out in the Zone 4 and day day axis of the Federal Capital Territory FCT. According to the Commission, the operation followed intelligence on activities of unscrupulous currency speculators who were exploiting desperate citizens by offering them the new Naira notes for foreign currencies at below the going rate. The auction came a day after the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, said the bank would collaborate with law enforcement agencies like EFCC and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, to track such heavy withdrawals. Premium Times had reported that the State Security Service, SSS, arrested some currency traders who have turned the sale of newly redesigned notes into brisk business. The secret police also alleged that the perpetrators were working in cohorts with officials of commercial banks. The EFCC also said its findings have revealed that some of the money traders are working with officials of money deposit banks. It further said the commission would extend its operation to all the major commercial centers of the country until all the syndicates involved in the illegal trade are demobilized. The suspects have made useful statements including disclosure that they were acting in cohorts with some unscrupulous officials of money deposit banks. The commission will extend the operation to all the major commercial centers of the country until all the syndicates involved in the illegal trade are demobilized. Financial system operators are also warned to desist from the sharp practices or risk arrest and prosecution. Zonal commanders of the EFCC today also met with officials of various banks in their commands in an effort to ascertain the volume of the new notes issued to the commercial banks and how the banks were dispensing the monies to their customers. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.